Good morning, everyone. It's 6.20 right now. We just got packed up. It's really cold out, so we decided to uh, do this inside. It's windy, too. It was very windy last night. Yeah. But yeah. Rob left at like 3 a.m. He's a monster. I think he hates the heat as much as I hate the cold. And it is cold. Um, so we got 25 miles today. Going to Tehachapi. Uh, we got 3,848 feet of ascent and 4,852 feet of descent. It's a lot of elevation today. Um, we passed by a wind farm again. Yay. With a display, so maybe we can throw some more facts at you. Um, other than that, it's gonna Just be a windy, to overcast, get to town. chill day until we get to town. And then supposedly they got like a hot tub or jacuzzi there. Finally we get to shower mm. and do laundry. So excited. Anyway. Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. All right, so we are about halfway through our day today. It's and degrees. what? 47. I don't know if I believe that. Kevin says that his thermometer says it's 47 degrees. I don't know if I believe that. It is way cooler than 47. So it hasn't been sunny all day and the wind has kind of been going on and off all day. And it's like a really, really cold wind. Um, but so I've been trying to think of the pros and the cons of it being cold. So an obvious con is... All right, that's an example of one of the cons is the GoPro batteries don't work quite as well as they should. Anyways, as I was saying, um, so another con is that we don't really um, stop for breaks too much because once you stop walking, you know, you just get cold right away and it's not fun, you know, sitting around when it's cold when you could just be walking. But, so, I was trying to think of a positive of that is on days like today where we gotta do big miles, we're gonna get done sooner because we're not just sitting around taking breaks all day. So that's my pros and cons I've thought of so far. Do you have any pros and cons of the coldness? Uh, it's kind of like perfect. It's you're not sweating as much. You don't have to drink as much. That's true. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a good one. On these long days where there's not really a uh, water available, you drink less if you're not as hot. Makes the hike a little more pleasing if you're not sweating your butt off. So yeah. Got any other ones? That's all I got right now. Con. Con, it's you're- It's hard for me to get out of the tent. Con, your nose uh, has snot on it all <laughs> day. Not yours. I'm saying everyone's. Everyone has like a runny nose and we're all like all day. 
but yeah, it's gold. So this is where the trail crosses, but there was a big mudslide, right? Mudslide, is that what you yeah. call it? Yeah, so you have to walk up and around. Right, so we just went uh, through the picnic area. Um, there's like a picnic table and stuff in a trail register at mile 558.2. For any uh, future hikers, there's like a laminated list there of all of the trail angels. Yeah, check this out. That you could call. What a long list. And then they also have a list of like hotel numbers and stuff like that. Um, there's one in the register and then there's also a trail angel list uh, taped to the picnic table. There's also water there. Um, so yeah, just so you know. Here's the PCT. Here's where we are. Got a long way to go. Okay, so I thought I'd give you guys a little update on the windmill uh, uh, facts, I guess, from yesterday and today. Uh, so all of the windmills that you've been seeing in our video today, before 1979, Tehachi Pass only had a few water pumping windmills. Um, since then, obviously you see a thousand more. Um, and it started with a guy named James Delson. He founded Zond Corporation in 1980. Uh, in order to, you know, tap the wind potential. I'll show you over here. Uh, because of California's um, unique uh, summertime heating of the ground inland, it causes the air to rise and creates a thermal low uh, pressure region. And uh, you'll see like um, right here, you see all like these trees. We've seen a few of them, you know, they only grow on one side because the wind's blowing so hard all the time. And then here is a uh, description of how big the windmills have gotten over the years. Obviously, I'm sure all of you guys have seen how big they are because how could you miss them? They're everywhere now. So there you go. That's all I got for windmill power what do you got also fun fact rob took a windmill worker course so he may someday work on some windmills <laughs> We're on a little slight jog now. Don't know if it's because Leah wants a Diet Coke and laundry done, or if it's because she's cold. Because I'm cold! <laughs> I think it's the Diet Coke. All right, so as you've seen, we finished our 25 mile hike. Um, we got a ride from Jim, 
really awesome guy. He just moved here two years ago. Um, him and his wife, they like to hike here, day hike. And they thought, well, why not help out PCT hikers? We offered a donation, everything. He was like, no, don't worry about it, pay it forward. So thank you, Jim. You'll see him at the end of the video. Um, but we're all checked in. We're gonna get ourselves some Denny's. Mm -hmm. Fried chicken, fried steak. Denny's, yes. 